Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Element Development and welcome to our weekly tutorial. And this week I'll be showing you how to hide and reveal outlets. Now in the iPhone simulator here, I have an example of what we're creating today. We have a few outlets such as a text view, a couple of labels, some text fields and a navigation bar. And we can simply hide them all and then reveal them all. Very simple and easy to do and I'll be showing you how to create this today. Now in Xcode I already have my project set up. I've simply named it Hiding Outlets for the purpose of this tutorial. And it's also a view based application for the iPhone. Now the first thing you want to do is add outlets for our navigation bar, text field, labels and text views. So what we do is go to our view controller.h and just after the first curly bracket, just hit enter a few times so we have a little bit of room and we start by typing IV outlet space UI text field space asterisk and then the first one text field one and that base semicolon. I'll simply copy that line to save a little bit of time. And then this one will be text field two. And now we add in two of our labels. So again, IB outlet space UI label space asterisk. And I'll simply make it base again and make sure this one's label one. And then label two. And now we're adding a navigation bar and a text view. So again, IB outlet space UI navigation bar space asterisk. I'll simply call it nav bar. You can add your own outlets, but I'm just giving you a variety of what you can do and some ideas of what you could hide. So final one, IB outlet space UI text view. You see the text view with a nice little scroll in it. Space, asterisk, and then text view. And that is a semicolon. Now after the final curly bracket, we need to add in two buttons to hide all and reveal all. So dash bracket IB action. First one will be hide all. And then the second one. And this will be revealed all. And that will be a semicolon, and then we can save that. So if you want to pause the video and catch up or carry on adding your own little IB outlets, you can create some good looking forms to fill out where they're hidden at first and you can view them, or like the labels displaying content or the navigation bar, anything like that. We could do scroll views, anything like that, table views, it's entirely up to you. So you can zoom out now and go to our view controller.m. And just after implementation, hit enter a few times so we got a fair bit of room so we can write the code out. And now then the first button we need to do will be our hide all one. So ID action. Hide all. And now we can start by type. It's really easy code to hide outlet. So our first outlet will be text field dot hidden space equals space and when this button hides all of them we want this outlet to be hidden so the capital yes and that a semicolon that's all the code that's needed to hide a outlet so we need to do it for each one of our outlets so just paste that in and then change that to number two and then this one we can change it for our label This one will be label two. So we've coded four of our outlets already. So two more to go in this tutorial. This one is the nav bar. And then finally our text view to save that. So all the code is done there to hide all of those outlets when we click our round red button. But once they're hidden, we need to bring them back. So if you just copy all that code there, 
So let's save a little time, paste in underneath, and obviously change the ID action to reveal all. Now we need to change each of our yeses and our hidden to no. So once the button reveal all button is pressed, all of our outlets are no longer hidden. So I'll save that now. If you want to pause the video and catch up on all of that code, as that's all the coding that's needed. But now I'll zoom out and then go straight into our view controller.xid. Now bring up all our objects here. So the first thing we'll place in is our navigation bar. There we go. I'm just showing you like all different outlets. So for a navigation bar, if you've got content such as like a web view, for instance, you can hide it all or reveal it in. I'm telling up to how you do it, but I'm just giving you like a wide range of options you could do. So bring in our text field. Now we want two of those. So I'll place them nicely there. And then two labels. And once you've done two labels, we need two buttons for revealing and hiding. And then finally, our text view. So there we go. I'll just name the buttons hide all reveal all and for the purpose of our text view having a white background I will change the background from grey to white there we go so now if you go click on files owner now we need to link up all our outlets and actions so the first one our label to label 1 label 2 to label 2 our navbar to our navbar, text field 1, text field 2, and finally text view. Now our reveal all button, you can do something simple like touch down and hide all button, simply touch down again. Now once they're all linked up, we can save it, go straight to build and run. There should be no errors as it's really, really simple code. So we just wait for this to build and load up. So there we go. We have our text view here, nice little scrolly, our navbar, text fields and our labels. So as soon as we hit our hide all, they all completely disappear out of the view. And then to bring them back, we see the reveal all. Kind of makes you feel like a magician. So that's simply how you hide and reveal outlets so I hope that helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favor and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below, as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out, and most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.